Hi Capricorns, and welcome to your April 2020 general tarot forecast. This is Sky here to talk to you about the energies coming in for your sign, which I have been pondering for a little bit, and um, I do feel like you are um, one of the most activated signs this month, for sure. And a lot of things are going to change for you this month. I really want to point that out. You guys have Death and Ten of Swords reversed coming up in your reading, as well as Eight of Cups, the Hermit, Three of Wands, all cards that kind of indicate a uh, really big change and a really big um, a shift in perspective as well. Um, I want you guys to kind of come straight into the month of April um, without any kind of predetermined ideas of what you see from yourself. Over the next few months, um, I think Capricorn is an ambitious sign, and I think that there's a lot of pressure on most Capricorns right now. You know, you might be the head of your family, you might be, you know, the owner of a business, or, um, you know, your only hope or something. There's something about most Capricorns, regardless of what situation they're in, being like a really pressurized person who has to maybe provide for others or um, struggle to rely on others too to give to them in to some degree. And I think that um, self-focus and self-assurance is really important for you this month. I think that um, you want to also watch out for um, giving too much of yourself and giving other people something that um, they don't need to some degree. You know, I think Capricorn is such a stabilizing energy and such a you know, solidify, solidifying, securing energy. And um, sometimes you, <laughs> people don't really give that back or reciprocate that. And I kind of sense that here in April, um, that reciprocation is not uh, something that you need to be looking for or aiming for. Um, it is really more so self-preservation. And I think that a lot of you um, will kind of look back over the next three months. So once you get to, to like around the time of June or July, um, you're going to look back and see that most of the changes started at this time, and you're going to feel a lot better, though, from that place. And it might feel difficult now, but I want you to understand that where you're moving is going to make you feel a lot better. Um, also, as an intuitive message for the month of April, um, you want to uh, sort of get with the bandwagon. You want to watch out for clinging, okay? Um, every sign is here, but especially Cancer and Capricorn, there's sort of a clinginess that can come in. Uh, with the Aries season, where it's like you can really go after what you want, and if what you want is something that is not, again, reciprocated, you can quite easily, um, you know, do a bit of damage or uh, make people upset at you for no reason when they would have given you what you wanted in the long term had you not really, like, pushed it or pressured it. So, again, that says to me that you're being pushed and you're being pressurized by something. So, it's really good to look at the um, chain of command during this time and see what is sort of reverberating. And I know that's kind of abstract and complicated, but um, what a great month, Capricorn, to just get back to yourself and to even um, do something that you've never done before, which might be staying in and not uh, really connecting with anyone else. There's a really great voyage here for you, you know, represented by Eight of Cups and represented by Three of Wands. You guys have a great voyage coming in, and I think that you are ahead of the game, ahead of the game in a lot of ways, and you're very protected and perhaps protecting a lot of other people, and that's going to reward you substantially. Um, you just want to watch out for like what your expectation is as a result of that. Because what you're facing when all is said and done, Capricorn, is a month that completely changes you and a month that completely initiates a new sense of spirituality in your experience. You know, you have some of the most um, hyper-spiritual, hyper-emotional energies coming up with Eight of Cups, Ten of Swords, Death, Four of Cups, The Hermit. There is something so incredible about some of the changes that you're facing and some of the some of the realizations that you stand to have as well. I feel like, if anything, April is a month that deals with realizations and it deals with um, sudden light bulb moments. Again, through lack or through adversity, you are one of the signs that gets so much and truly understands how to build much stronger. So um, let's talk about your week to week Capricorn. In the first week, you have Eight of Cups rooted down by the Hermit. And um, I think there is something, uh, some part of you that's relying on walking away from something or relying on. Um, you know, stopping something that's not giving anymore. I have kind of seen that Capricorns have been loyal to a fault over the last few years. You know, with Pluto and Saturn in your sign, it's like loyalty is maybe your source of power or your source of um, life force even. 
And I think that that kind of starts to change. And again, I'm not saying that you guys should be disloyal, but I think that you have to walk away from what's no longer giving you anything. I really feel that Capricorns need to downsize in some way, and that that can mean so many different things for so many different people. But um, something is feeling a little bit burned out, I must say, Capricorn. Um, and it's crazy to think about how you can put so much energy into something or so much effort into something, and it kind of doesn't really do anything, or it kind of doesn't really move. It's just, it's capricious, you know, it's stubborn, or it doesn't change. But it's like the things that you barely touch or the things that you don't focus on so much, they are like extremely successful or extremely changeable. And you're going to see that in the first week. The first week is going to demand that you make progress in your life, okay, Capricorns? Week number one is a demand for progress. The Hermit and the Eight of Cups. Uh, Eight of Cups is like a minor arcana hermit card because you've got this person like walking um, away and then the Hermit is like having the lantern. It's also walking. So you are going to be lighting up the dark portions of your life. You're going to be seeing things that you didn't know was there and you're going to be seeing things that um, change your perspective big time. So I just want to prepare you for that. But that's beautiful to start to see the truth and to start to see how things have changed. Week number two, you guys have two of wands rooted down by Queen of Swords. So um, I like that. I think that you're making plans. I think that you have some golden ideas coming in there. A bit of a Midas touch as well, especially for those of you with Scorpio placements in your chart. There's a good Midas touch or a good, or even Virgo or Taurus placements as well. Your great ability to plan ahead and to strategize how you want to move forward. I love Queen of Swords and Two of Wands together. That is such a precise, clear mind. And you might not even feel it as you're moving into it, but it, it is actually the reality, like how clear your mind is and how clear your head is on how you need to move forward is um, a, a great, great um, benefit for you to have. I also would say that you want to watch out for um, working too emotionally in the second week. It's wands and swords. So this is about inspiration and logic. It's not so much about emotions. Because you, you could maybe see that you want to be loyal or that you want to just keep doing the safe, tried and true thing because that feels like emotionally right. But that's not where it is for you right now. Again, we're in the double one energy, so we all have to start over. We all have to try new things here. We all have to kind of get out of our comfort zone to a degree and understand what we're truly meant for or understand the paths that we're truly um, connected to. Week number three, you guys have four of cups reversed, rooted down by ten of swords, reversed Capricorns. Sometimes you can't rely on other people ever. You know, sometimes other people don't come through. If you want to come through the third week of April and feel like fine and feel like you're like on an upward momentum, try to not rely too much on other people. I feel like um, everybody's going to be out for themselves during this time and that that's a hard acceptance when you're maybe so loyal to other people, but um, everyone's is like every, every man for themselves or what, whatever, you know, every person for themselves. And um, I feel like Capricorn, four of cups reversed, you might be feeling lonely. You might be feeling like uh, people aren't there. And that has to be okay, Capricorn. Again, your sign is on the fourth, 10th house axis, which means that it is the axis that deals with how the self and only the self um, emerges and blooms out into the public. And you are the public side of that. So yeah, Capricorns can struggle with loneliness or struggle um, with not being social. Um, again, that depends on your individual makeup too, but uh, the third week will be fine as long as you don't let yourself feel betrayed by people not being around or by people not being there. Again, it feels that only you can really be there for yourself, and that's hard. It, again, maybe some of you went through a breakup at the same time as this coronavirus thing. Um, it feels like maybe some of you also had an ending or a conclusion, maybe even like a death in the family um, that happened before any of this or something, and, and that's like, I think that a lot of you have experienced a death, and again, whether that's like a physical death around you, or whether it's a breakup, or the loss of a friend, or the loss of a job, the energy of death is surrounding you, Capricorn, and that's not something that's going to be scary, that's something that is, um, is a rebirthing for you. Not everything can stay. We can't have everything. We can't just keep everything. That's very boring. And that's also the energy of stagnation, which is like a very molding, um, like moldy type of uh, parasitic energy too. So you want to really watch out for forcing things to stay the same. Your ruling planet Saturn is a changing sign right now. So um, there are changes, Capricorn. There are changes. You got to get creative. You got to get innovative. And you got to get really self assured and self empowered during this time. And then you'll be surprised that when you're there, you got what you you get what you wanted anyway. It's like just by being able to let go and just by being able to move into three of wands and death territory fourth week of April. 
just by being able to be there and accepting of um, impermanence, you get what you wanted anyway. So that's how the universe oftentimes works is it's not, the universe doesn't just want to deny us things. It doesn't want to just take things away. Um, but it will do that if we're refusing to like learn something or if we're being too capricious, you know, Capricorn capricious energy, if we're being too um, entitled to things, not saying that you guys are, but um, that's just sort of a, an easy understanding of how to really level up in life is to not be too attached to things, to not cling on too hard. And um, also to know when to attach yourself to, and this is not one of those times, okay? This is a very detached time. One of the most detached times I've, I've ever like experienced in my lifetime you know, with Saturn and Aquarius, double one energy, Aries season, rat year. It's one of the most detached, non-caring times. And um, through that extreme, there's duality. And we see like the most love and the most care and the most union and teamwork that we've really uh, seen in a long time too. So yeah, we are in duality. But for the most part, we all have to detach from something or let go of something in order to get there. And we all kind of know what that is. We all kind of know that it doesn't have to be we don't have to let go of maybe that one thing or that one person that, you know, sets our livelihood, but we do have to let go of the people or the things or the jobs or the incomes or whatever it is that are leeching us and taking away from us and putting us in a space that is uncomfortable. Those things have to change up a little bit here. So um, merging and consolidating the sense of status quo with the ability to give away and the ability to let go and the ability to release is the true, um, you know, trump card during this time. It's the true powerful um, energy that you have. And again, three of wands in the fourth week Capricorns, as we were talking about, um, you got to let something go, okay? I feel like you guys are looking at people whose backs are turned on you. I feel like you're looking at people's backs and talking to them and begging them back or begging... Um, uh, even pleading with the universe, perhaps, you know, send this person back. I can't make it on my own or something. It's it's dying. It's gone. You know, you've got to kind of let things go to a degree. Um, there there are always losses that we have to accept in life. And um, it's there's no reason to plead with it after it's turned its back on us. Um, so what's nice about having someone turn their back on you or not being able to access something immediately whenever you want it is that when we are denied or when we feel rejected, there's something in that and there's something that we're really trying to run away from within ourselves that we're really afraid of. And the, the sad thing is, is that those people who have turned their backs on us, they were feeling that they were having to deal with the brunt of that because whenever we went to them before, we were maybe avoiding what we were look, what we were afraid of on the inside and that they were, you know, maybe... Um, getting doused in that so then they, they turn away and that that's it's not always the case you know sometimes people do betray and uh, one way or another it's um rewarding to look at how you feel right when you wish that you weren't alone or right when you wish that other people were there and try to let it out and don't take it back in it's a great great time to let things out and not take them back in so i've talked in a lot of the other readings about doing a detox um eating healthily right now making your sleep cycles better um, exercising, sweating it out. You know, I did a parasite cleanse last month um, in March during Pisces season, and it really changed my world and um, in a positive way too. So I, you know, again, you don't want to get too crazy with those things. I'm not a medical practitioner. I can't advise on um, medicinal things, but um, if you can do it in a mild and safe way, safe way, it's a really rewarding um so it's Food for Thought Capricorns. Try to stay healthy. I hope that you've enjoyed this reading. And one way or another, I think that you guys are making some incredible new plans here. There are new horizons for you. Eight of Cups, Two of Wands, Three of Wands. Those are new horizon cards. And with the Death card, Ten of Swords, everything that's holding you back from that new horizon is being um, released and pulled away. Just try to not get too focused on that having been anything you know, super necessary to where you're wanting to go now and, and step into that strategic, fearless and protected energy that you are um, really well known for and you will do great. Anyway, Capricorns, I'm going to do an extended reading over on Patreon. We'll look at a central theme as well as two supporting themes and we'll see what's coming up for you. Do feel free to join me over there if you would like to support this channel. Um, it will be linked below as well as in the center of the screen and leave me a comment below on YouTube. Let me know how you're handling this energy. Hit the like button as well and we'll be talking soon, Capricorns. Much love. Bye.